We're looking at a maths question. It can catch the best of us out. In fact, even for me, I had to really think about this. It's a bit of a mind twister. Okay, let's have a look at the facts. The diagram shows part of a myofibril. So we're not looking at the whole thing. From a relaxed muscle fiber. So this would extend on and on, and that would extend on and on. It says the whole muscle fiber is 30 millimeters long when it's relaxed. Each sarcomere is 2.25 micrometers long when contracted. Use the scale given on the diagram to calculate the length of the contracted muscle fiber in milliliters. So we know that um, we've got a scale here and if I measure this with a ruler, what I find out is that on my paper, 16 millimeters is actually equal to one micrometer because this band here measures 16 millimeters. So what I can then say is, okay, well, let's measure this sarcomere. And with a ruler, when I measure this, which is my relaxed muscle fiber, I find that it is 48 millimeters. So therefore, if 16 millimeters equals one micrometer, then how many does 48 measure? Well, 48 millimeters divided by 16 millimeters gives me three, three micrometers. Now the question is saying that the whole muscle fiber is 30 millimeters long. Well, now I can just scale this because 30 millimetres and each sarcomere is 3 micrometres. So now if I look, it tells me each sarcomere is 2.25 micrometres long. When the muscle is contracted. So it's going to be the same ratio there. Here there's a factor of... 10, if we're just looking at the numbers, ignoring the units. So here, if I do a factor of 10, I'm going to get an answer of 22.5 millimetres. And that is my answer. Because it wanted it in millimetres.